Hello. Welcome to section 3 of our lesson, the Java memory model. In this section, we will be talking about everything as a reference, the heap, and the stack, and garbage collection. This video is about everything as a reference. In this video, we will be talking about the fact that Java is a pass by value language. This will help us understand why in Java, everything is a reference. It will also allow us to understand what the content of the heap and the stack are. Let's get started. When passing a primitive variable to a method, we create a copy of the value of that variable and pass that copy. Consider the following code, in which we have a main method invoking another method called some method. Before doing so, we create a primitive local variable to which is associated the value 5. The method called some method has its own local primitive variable of type int called local variable 2. And since we pass local variable 1 to that method, what happens is that the value of local variable 1 is copied and passed to local variable 2. When some method is invoked, we have not one, but two primitive variables, local variable 1 and local variable 2. They each live separately in their own methods. Do not forget, a local variable is created within a method. The changes we bring to local variable 2 will not affect local variable 1. It will have its value changed from 5 to 7, followed by which it will be outputted to the console. And when we leave that method and go back to the main method, the local variable 1 will still be set to 5. Let's Run this code. If we run this code, we will realize that there are indeed two values that are different. Local variable 2 has received a copy of the value associated to local variable 1, but has been changed and set to 7. The change brought to local variable 2 did not affect local variable 1. That even after we invoke some method, is still set to 5. Let's consider what happens when it, it is about reference variables. When passing a reference variable to a method, we create a copy of the value of that reference and pass that copy. Again, we have here two methods, one invoking the other. The main method invokes some method to which it passes an object this time, or to be more precise, a reference to an object. The local variable 1 is pointing to an object of type class B. Here is that object in memory, and this is the local variable 1 pointing to that object. Since class B has declared an instance primitive variable, the object will have that variable. The value of that variable is set to 5. The method called some method declares a local variable 2. This one is also a reference local variable of type class B. And since we pass to that method local variable 1, what will happen is that Local variable 2 will be made into a copy of local variable 1. And as local variable 1 is pointing to our object in memory, local variable 2 is now pointing to the same object in memory. The two methods, the main method and the method called some method, have the same object. They manipulate the same object. 
So the changes brought inside some method to that object will be visible when we go back to the main method. We have changed the instance primitive variable of that object. It was set to 7. And to have a witness, we output that instance primitive variable. When we go back to our main method, we output that variable again to the console to compare our values. We will have the same values simply because both methods are working on the same object. Let's run this piece of code. If we run class B, we will realize that whatever changes were made to the object behind that reference are still effective after we leave the method called some method. We are sharing the same object among those two methods. What does it mean? It means that a Java program is a set of objects being referred to by a set of references that are shared among methods and passed from one method to the other. We have said in previous videos that in Java everything is an object. It is also true to say that in Java everything is a reference. When we pass primitive variables, we copy those variables. However, when we pass reference variables among methods, we share those references. Methods share references in Java. In Java, everything is a reference and everything is an object. Having said that, we are getting closer and closer to understand what are the constituting block of a Java program. These blocks are the stack and the heap. The stack is made of methods that enter the stack as they are being invoked, and these methods will have local variables. So methods and their local variables go into the stack. This stack grows as more methods are being invoked. The heap, however, will contain objects and within them instance variables. These are the heap and the stack, and these are what stand behind a Java program being executed. In this video, we have explained why in Java we consider that everything is a reference. This relates to the fact that Java is a best by value language. We have also brought more details of what is the content of the heap and the stack.